Hey, welcome to the video. This is your boy Penthouse Kyland 08. Um, basically, this is just a video. A lot of my followers have been requesting, you know, talking about how I got into the gym, how I started off, and how they can start off. Uh, my later videos will be most about, you know, dietary plans, you know, my plan of action for like how I work out, my splits, and everything like that. But uh, this video right here is just like, you know, just basically let you know how I started off, you know, our credentials and, um, you know, check it out, you know, as I tell everybody else, you know, should just subscribe to the channel, you know, so you can get some more great content in. So anyways, let's get to it. So basically, you know, it's a little kind of windy, just walking around, you know, just getting a little, looking, getting a little sun, you know, in Houston right now, it's kind of like you got to go later it's too damn hot so anyways you know how i started off basically is i think i've been working out for more than like a decade uh, i'd say about no a little under a decade but like eight or nine years you know uh at the moment right now i'm 23 years old i am an alumni of the university of mississippi my major is pre-med but my minor is physical science you know but more like personal training and everything like that so I do know what I'm talking about even though I'm so young um, I've had a lot of followers ask me how and when did my physique become how it was and honestly to be completely honest with you I would say it took me about a good two to three years to get to where I am if not more but if I had known what I knew now, it would have been a lot shorter. And that is why I've decided to make a video about it and help out my, follow my fellow followers. And if you're new to this, subscribe so you can get more of the content. So anyways, back to what I was saying. So on this video, I won't be touching so much on dietary plans or anything about like, you know, certain workout plans or anything. But I will be touching on like... The correlation between how many days you should rest and you know what's optimal for each individual but um, basically for me personally it's been two to three days in between working out I know a lot of people like to work out on the weekdays and leave the weekends you know you know just to cheat and everything like that but, um, and that's what I used to do but personally I found and even my other other people that I train that once I let them off more than just two days and let them work out for two to three days even you know throughout the week you know they have uh, an amazing you know results in the weight room and even with their cardio as well because I'm also a person who believes heavily in separate separate cardio as well um, a lot of people would advocate, you know, to do cardio before or after a workout. I would say you should space it out always between two to four hours between your workouts. So it doesn't interfere with any of your gains or any of your progress. But uh, anyways, to get to the gist of it, a lot of my followers also have been asking me how they should work out. And I think it would I'd be doing them a disservice if I had not told them how many days they should rest so what I'm gonna get down to is basically me personally from how I learned how to work out and where I am now I would recommend people that sleep is the essential if sleep or if dietary is number two sleep is number one I will repeat if dietary is number two sleep is number one a lot of people don't realize this but you know, sleep is what grows a person. Sleep is literally the only way you could ever become bigger. Because here is the deal, here's how everything rolls out for most people. And basically every person, sleep is, you know, not even just how you grow, it's how you grow your muscle. So working out is what destroys that muscle, what what allows it to tear, what allows those fibers in your muscles to, you know, actually get exposed to pressure and stress, which tears them in sleep, you know. 
sleep is what builds them and makes them stronger. But the thing now is people don't get an ad adequate amount of sleep. And for me, when I was first starting out, I faced those same problems as well. I worked out a ton. I would be in the gym for two to three hours and go back home, stay up late at night, binge, binge watch some, you know, some Netflix or something like that, and then wake up in the morning sore. And I was like, okay, yes, I did the right thing. I'm sore. You know, I must have killed the workout. You know, and then the next day, I'm like, wow, damn, I'm kind of sore again, you know. As, you know, and I thought it was just normal. I was like, damn, I really must have killed that workout. But I wasn't sore because of the workout, not necessarily, but I was sore after those two other days because I didn't get adequate sleep. And when you don't get adequate sleep, your muscles aren't able to build and they're, they're able to restore or get any bigger than what they possibly could have gotten if you got more than at least six hours of sleep. So I would say for anybody that is looking for working out or just jumping into working out, I would say it is actually, when you first jump into working out, it's actually very easy to have gains. And what they call that is beginner gains. You know, when I first started out, I also faced that as well. You know, but once I um, passed the two to three month mark, you know, I started to realize myself, realize myself plateau. And it wasn't because I wasn't working as hard as I did when I first started out. It was because even though my body was making so much progress when I first started off, it wasn't able to make enough progress because I wasn't getting enough sleep. So sleep is the number one big thing that is eating and killing people's games. So I would recommend everybody, if you can, you know, at least six to seven hours of sleep. You know, some people recommend nine to 10 or eight. You know, I don't know who the hell is gonna have enough time to sleep nine, nine to 10 hours, but hey, you know, whatever, as much sleep as you can, you know, as long as it's not under four to five, you know, you will make gains. And um, when it comes to the whole working out portion, I won't get into certain workouts yet. Those will be my next videos. But when it comes out, to, comes down to the count and everything like that, people believe that you know the more reps you do, the more sets you do, the more you're working the muscle, which in all actuality is very slightly construed. You know, um, for me personally throughout my whole workout progress and how many times I changed my workouts, one set actually helps for me. I do one set towards failure. And that might sound familiar to a lot of you because there was another bodybuilding guru that used to do that and his name was Mike Mincer, you know, and uh, he was the only one ever in the uh, uh, competition to ever get a perfect score for his body. And I took up his workout about six months ago and I could just see the dramatic change in my strength and how I felt in my overall proportions to my muscles and I have not left since then um, I will say this as well too you know there are workouts that work for others that do not work for most uh, it took me a while to actually find a workout plan that I could actually do that I actually felt you know proportioned out my body the way I wanted it to do um, but um, like I said on this channel we're all going on a journey together you know as you support me and subscribe to my channel and help me get a lot more views and likes you know I'll support you too in your endeavors of fitness and you know becoming the best you can you know and uh, yeah that's about it for this video and so anyways what you should have gotten for this video is basically you know sleep is a very big one you know, even if you do have a shitty diet and everything like that, you know, if you get adequate enough sleep, you will get enough gains. But the next video, we will most definitely be talking about the, the dietary food plans and uh, how to improve them and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, this is the end of the video. I promise myself I try to stay every 10 minutes. I'm very passionate about this. But, uh, yeah, like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.